Imagine walking through Target, you've got a cart full of stuff, you're pushing it up to the cashier, and all of a sudden they say, awesome, you got everything you need, let's go next door and we'll go ahead and process that payment. That'd be a weird experience. The same is true when you're selling your own stuff on the internet. If you're hanging out on your blog, you're hanging out on social media, and then all of a sudden you gotta take people somewhere else to go buy. And the payment experience doesn't really look like your brand, it doesn't really look like you, it's a weird experience for the customer. In this video, we're gonna show you guys how to take SamCart's checkout and how to place it under your own domain name so that your customers know exactly who they are and that experience from start to discovering one of your products to buying them is as seamless as possible. Let's dive in, we'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so step number one in adding your custom domain is going to be to actually purchase a domain name. Wherever you wanna purchase domains, doesn't matter. You can go to Namecheap, you can do it through Google, you can do it through Amazon Route 53, you can do whatever you want, doesn't matter, right? Add, get a domain name. And then what you're gonna need to do is edit that domain name's DNS settings. So I'm in Cloudflare. Cloudflare is a free uh, service. This is a paid account, but is a free service that you can manage uh, DNS settings very, very easily. Wherever you buy your URL from, if you buy it from Namecheap, Google, just go to Google and search how to edit DNS settings in Namecheap, how to edit DNS settings in Google, whatever, you know, whatever in their cloud stuff, wherever you buy your domain name, you can add DNS settings, or you could add the URL to Cloudflare after you buy it. Uh, you have to change some name servers, whatever. Again, Google these things, go to YouTube. There's so many tutorials about that. I'm going to assume you already have access to your DNS settings for your URL. And now we're just going to make some quick changes. So I'm going to go to makeproductsfast.com and I have the ability to edit them here inside of Cloudflare. And so on makeproductsfast.com, I'm just gonna go to DNS records or over here on the left, I could click on DNS records, right? And so all we need to do is add two and an optional third DNS record. It doesn't matter if you've never done this, never been a tech person, right? I'm just following this URL right here, okay? So we have a help article. I'll make sure to link to it down below this video about how to add custom domains. Uh, and we'll make this super short, but again, Buy a domain, doesn't matter where you buy a domain, we do not do not care, right? Connect your domain registrar to your same cart marketplace. Uh, this is, you got two options on how to do this. One is easy and one is pretty easy as well, right? Um, option number one, if you want your root domain to point to a SAM cart checkout, use option one, meaning I have makeproductsfast.com. If I go to makeproductsfast.com right now, I don't have a blog, right? There's no website or something. It's not like if you go to samcart.com, we have a full website, okay? So if you want to do a whole domain name, has no website, no blog, no whatever, you want makeproductsfast.com to just go to a samcart checkout, then you're going to follow option number one right? And you're going to make these two A name records. I'll walk you through it. Um, but if you want a subdomain to point to, so, you know, again, we've got samcart.com. A subdomain might be something like shop.samcart.com, right? So maybe you have makeproductsfast.com is your, well, it's not because I own it, but whatever. I mean, you know, maybe that was where my website was and I don't want to delete makeproductsfast.com. Then I can use a subdomain, okay? So in this one, I'm gonna do the root domain thing, but if you wanna do a subdomain, there's very, very little that changes, right? So I have makeproductsfast.com. I want that entire domain. I want the root domain to point to a SAM card checkout. So I'm gonna follow this step right here. And in a second, we'll talk about what to do with the subdomain. I need to make two a name records, right, that point to these two IP addresses. It sounds complicated, I promise you it's not. I'm just going to copy and paste this number right here, this IP address. I'm gonna to come to the records and I'm going to add a record, okay? First drop down. what kind of record is it? A, quadruple A, CAA, cert, C name, all these, there's all these different things, doesn't matter. You want a A name record. In the name, just put the at sign, okay? And then the IP address, you drop in what we have in that, uh, the first of two IP addresses and let's hit save. I just made one A name record and now I need to make another one, okay? So we come back, I'm gonna grab this second IP address and do the exact same thing. So I go back to Cloudflare, I click add record, A name, the root is just an at symbol, IP address, copy and paste, click save, okay? Just like that, I now basically am saying, hey internet, when you go to makeproductsfast.com, I want you to point to SamCart. Those are SamCart IP addresses. We'll talk about how to sort of add the domain to SamCart, and then these things will propagate out. The last thing I wanna do is, technically this only covers makeproductsfast.com. If you want www, so if I go to www.makeproductsfast.com, 
productsfast.com. Technically, that www is itself a subdomain. That's kind of how it works, okay? So if I wanted to do www dot and make sure that redirects, or if I wanted to do shop dot, right, something like that, um, then I would do this. I'm gonna make one last record. Uh, I'm gonna make it a C name record, okay? Where uh, this is where you're gonna put whatever the, the subdomain is. So in this example, I wanna make sure that www dot makeproductsfast.com points to Sam Card as well. Or I could do, you know, shop dot, whatever. But in this example, I'm just gonna do www. And then I go back to that help article and there's one little weird line of code or it's not really code, it's just a, a long string here. Then I need to come back and paste this in, okay? That's it. So now I made a C name record. If you were using uh, a, a subdomain of your main domain, right? So example, right, if, if we had samcart.com, I don't want to delete samcart.com. So my, I would go into the DNS settings, I would only add a C name record and I would make this shop and I would that's what I would click save, right? Um, I would not do the A record things if you have a website on the domain that you don't want to delete and all you want to do is add a subdomain. In this example, right, I want makeproductsfast.com to redirect, which is why I did these two A name records. I also want www.makeproductsfast.com to redirect as well. So I'm gonna click save changes, right? Uh, I would have these three records if I want the whole domain and the www to redirect, that's what I would do. Um, click save changes, and then we just need to jump over into SamCart. And so here we are inside of SamCart, we have set up the DNS stuff, and now all we need to do is come to your marketplace settings, and then click on the custom domains tab up here at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and click add new for custom tab, and I'm just gonna go ahead and type in that URL. So it is makeproductsfast.com. Uh, if you decided to do option number two from the help article and did the C name redirect for like a subdomain, right? We talked about that in a little bit. If you're using a subdomain, it's shop.makeproductfast.com, try.makeproductfast.com, then you would go ahead and put in www or you would put in like shop dot whatever. You put in the, the subdomain. I'm not doing that. So I'm just gonna put in makeproductsfast.com and then you just pick a default product. So if I go to makeproductsfast.com, what product do I want to show up there? And I'm gonna go ahead, I have this one product that we've made that's kind of a demo product. You can also upload a custom favicon. So the favicon is a little icon that when someone is on a tab, they can see the little favicon if they're on their browser. It's that little image next to the, the name up at the top when you're looking at a tab. I'm not gonna do that, click, click save. And so uh, what's gonna happen next here is that SIM card is gonna go ahead and save that. And now this product is the default. If I open up a new tab and just type in makeproductsfast.com, what you're going to get is you're gonna get the same card page that I showed you, right? So here is that same card page. Uh, this is that demo page that we have. It might take a little bit for you, by the way. Remember, with all this DNS stuff, sometimes it takes minutes or up to, I mean, it can take up to hours, right? For this stuff to propagate across the internet. Um, but makeproductfast.com now officially goes here. The other thing you can do, right, is if I open up, um, I've got a custom domain added. Let's say I added one or two more, right? You could add unlimited custom domains to your SAM card account. You can then go to your products tab and decide which products belong to which custom domain. So I have uh, the default one that I chose is this French demo product, but go find a product, find any product, right? And what you can do is, while this is sort of the default, so if you go right to that URL, what you can do is then go to advanced settings on any product Okay, and scroll down to the custom domain area and you could uh, set it to exist under that page, under that URL. So in this example, this product now lives under makeproductsfast.com. So when I go and open up the, uh, the, the page URL, you guys can't see this right now. Let me go ahead and just bring this down a touch. Now you can see it, makeproductsfast.com slash products slash, you know, whatever. And I can do the same thing. I could go back to literally any product in my whole account. I'll just open up this top product right here. I can come over to advanced settings, go down to the custom tabs area and say, okay, cool. This this URL, this product now belongs under makeproductsfast.com. So this product's URL, I go back to product details, makeproductsfast.com slash five day sales mastermind. And you could change this to be whatever you need it to. I could say, this is Scott's awesome mastermind. Click save changes. 
And when I preview it, now it's makeproductsfast.com slash product slash Scott's awesome product, right? Any single product that you go create, you could have it exist under, I could have five products that exist under makeproductsfast.com. I could have 10 products that exist under Scott's awesome products.com. I could have the rest of my products under shop dot scottsproducts.com, whatever that is, right? But that is how you add custom domains. That is how you and your customers come to a page just like this one that looks like it is still on your domain. They haven't gone anywhere. Uh, custom branded, all kinds of awesome stuff. Order bumps, one-click upsells, uh, you know, payment options, buy now, pay later, all the awesome stuff that makes SAM cards so very powerful, all existing under your own custom domain. So once again, you guys, again, go back to uh, your SAM card marketplace settings, buy your domains, you add them on this custom domains tab. And again, you could add 10, 20, 50. I think the most I've ever seen anybody add, I think is something like 30 or something like that. Um, but you are free to do that as you please. Add your stuff, add your uh, add your custom domains to SAM card, get that stuff rolling, uh, make that customer experience even more beautifully sweet and awesome and, uh, and coherent. And we'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.